Hey, this is Chris Atterbury. So I was looking for a probing solution for my CNC mill, and uh, I had been looking at a few different hobby grade versions on uh, eBay and a few other places. And someone suggested, thanks Muzzer, uh, that I look for a, a used Renishaw probe. Uh, Renishaw makes industrial quality, uh, highly accurate probing systems for milling machines and CMMs and things like that. So I did a little research and I found out that you could use the MP3 or MP1, which are older units that were made in the 90s, maybe early 2000s, uh, but they're still floating around out there. And uh, if you look around on eBay, you can find them. So uh, I actually found one brand new in the box uh, for $250. Uh, for basically what's a $1,500 probe unit um, and uh, it was built in 1996 it had never ever been out of the box so basically what I did was I took the head off of the cat 50 or cat 40 shank that comes with it and I just turned a disc of aluminum on my lathe uh, milled a groove in the back of it to clear the wiring and things. Uh, there's a little conical stainless steel insert that goes into the inductive head that fits on top of this unit. Uh, I just popped that out and bored a pocket and then uh, actually just did a light press fit and used Loctite 609 to hold it in place inside the, the head here. So I can take this uh, and plug it into, there's a uh, interface unit that Renishaw sells. You can also find those really cheap on eBay. I found mine for $90 uh, and it's really simple to wire up. I used, it's kind of hard to see here, but I used a five pin den plug. Uh, they usually come with a den three, but the five pin, uh, you can find ready-made cables on Amazon for like five bucks. So I use that. And um, so let's, let's show you how it works. All right, so I've got my probe mounted in my machine. And the next thing I need to do is open ProBAP V2, which was written by Swissy. And it's available on the Centroid CNC forums. Uh, he has an interesting business model. You pay him what you feel is fair for the product. And then he sends you a license key. Uh, it works really well. It's really well done. Uh, it's very professional. So all you do is click on the probe app icon. You tell it what kind of probe you want to do. So in this case, I'm doing a three axis corner because I'm going to set up the front corner of my vise. Uh, you tell it which corner you want to set up on front left in this case. Uh, it also probes the top of the, the vise jaw before it checks the the Y and X axis. Uh, you can tell it to actually set the WCS so that all of your operations after this will be set uh, with that as your origin point. So I just hit start here. It says hit cycle start to begin programming. Okay, and then we hit start probe will measure the top of the vice jaw, go to the X axis, go over to the Y axis, and then it goes to zero, zero in the X and Y, and 50 thousandths above the part. One of the other probing cycles that's interesting to me uh, the probe app can do bores, so you just put your, your probe tip somewhere near the center of the bore um, and below the z-axis edge of it, and then you just go in the probe app, click on bore, and in this case I'm not going to set the WCS, I'm just going to have it find the center for me. So I'll hit start here and then hit probe or uh, cycle start to start the probing 
routine. So the probe app will start probing in the X direction. Goes to X minus and then goes to X positive to figure out the X center line. Goes back to center line. Then goes Y negative. So it might be a little hard to see, but uh, when the bore probe is done, it pops up the actual bore diameter and centers the probe over the bore. So if you wanted to open up a bore, um, maybe locate some holes on a plate, um, you could write down the X and Y coordinates of a bunch of holes and, and recreate a part if you needed to. It's pretty handy. These Renishaw probes are really accurate. They can get down to two tenths uh, accuracy in all three axes. And uh, one of the ways they maintain that accuracy is uh, their interface unit actually cuts off the current just before the uh, contact breaks. And what that does is it keeps it from arcing and creating little whiskers inside the head that will affect the accuracy. So the uh, MI8 interface unit or MI5s you can find on, on eBay uh, around $100, fairly cheap. Um, and they're really easy to wire in. Uh, they have, I think, four wires that come from the machine and four that go out to the probe. And uh, it will handle cutting off the voltage and keeping the voltage and the current uh, low enough that it won't affect the accuracy of the head over years of use, 20, 30 years. Um, the head is filled with oil. That also keeps it from uh, arcing and creating whiskers. Uh, so they're just super accurate, highly reliable units, much better than anything you can get hobby grade. Um, for about the same price, maybe a little more than you would pay for a lot of the hobby grade units.